Good morning. Today we have to identify useless zeros in a decimal number. In decimal part, if the number ends with zero, so these zeros are useless. For example, 3.690, the decimal part ends with a zero, so this zero is useless, and this number is equal to 3.69. So 3.690 is equal to 3.69 since the zero is at the end and it has no value. In the number 0 0.30, the decimal part also ends with a zero. So this zero is useless and 0 0.30 is equal to 0 0.3. In the number 2.500, the decimal part ends with two zeros, and these two zeros are useless, and 2.500 is equal to 2.5. Now, the number 2.006, the decimal part does not end with a zero. It ends with the number 6, so we cannot cross out any zero. Now, if we look at the zeros in the whole part, if the whole part starts or begins with a zero, we can cross this zero out because it has no value and 0 050.2 is equal to 50.2. 207.003. If we look at the whole part, the whole part starts with 2 or begins with 2. It has no zero. So we cannot cross any zero in the whole part. And if we look at the decimal part, the decimal part does not end with a zero. It ends with the number three. So we can't cross out any zeros. In the number 0060.1, in the whole part, we have two zeros at the beginning. So we can cross these two zeros since the number starts with zeros and 0060.1 is equal to 60.1. Now 040. It starts with a zero from the left, so this zero is useless and the number is equal to 40. Now let us consider this number 070.050. If we look at the whole part, the whole part starts with a zero, so this zero has no value. And when we look at the decimal part, the decimal part ends also with a zero, and this zero is useless, we can cross it out also. So the number is equal to 70.05.